The worst thing that you can do is to absent yourself from the culture. Jesus said, you're here to be salt and light. And you're here to be salt and light within the present culture that you're in. But the problem is, you fit into it. And you become well adjusted to it. Here's what I'm going to suggest to you. You think you're well adjusted to the culture and you know how insidious this is? Don't watch network TV for about six months. See, network TV reflects the dominant culture. Network TV is fitting in and being well adjusted to the culture. Stay away from it for about half a year. Then go back and watch it. You will be shocked. You'll be shocked at the things that people are entertained by and the things that people laugh at. And the enemy uses that against God's people. The enemy has new thinking that if you are going to have a ministry, it has to be some glitzy, powerful, big thing. That your ministry means that you have to completely change what you're doing and leave your ordinary, everyday life. And you have to, above all, get out of the culture. We need men and women of God in the educational system, in the entertainment system, in the political system. We need men and women of God plugged into the healthcare system not absenting ourselves from it. If you wonder if you have a ministry, if you wonder if you God do anything with your life, this message is for you. The problem is not that you don't have a ministry. We're going to find out. The problem is us. We have met the enemy, and it is us. So here's the solution. Paul says, think. That's number one. You must think and believe that there's a different way to be human. The church has, Tim has, become co-opted with the world. We have fit in so well with the culture that you can't tell the chiefs from the Indians anymore. Let's just step back for a minute and just think. Isaiah 55, you got to first of all understand that your way is not God's way. Your way of thinking is not God's way of thinking. Your way of having a ministry and working is not God's way of having a ministry and working. Understand there's another way to live and another way to be human. Number two, abandon. God says through Isaiah, once you get that concept down, my ways aren't your ways, your ways aren't mine. Paul says, when you stop becoming so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking, the next step is abandon. Abandon that way. What do we want to do? What do I want to do? I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to take God's ways and God's thoughts, and I want to amalgamate it with my ways and my thoughts. Don't you? We don't want to get too radical about this, and I really don't want it to impact my life too much. I want it to be something that's user-friendly for me, and I don't want to really go overboard. So I tell you what, I'll take these concepts that God has, and I think there's some value to them. I think that they're okay, and I'm going to just go ahead and tweak those and, and see if I can fit them into my life here and there. Do we not think that way? You know what Isaiah says? Abandon your ways and your thoughts. And Paul says the same. If you don't think God's way is better, if you don't trust that, you won't abandon your ways. Ever. After you think, after you abandon, number three to the solution to finding your ministry, Isaiah says, return. Return to me. Return to my ways and return to my thoughts. What does Paul say? Instead, Fix your attention on God. Focus your attention on God. 